What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, Katsu, Sag, and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. I do, I do, I do, do. Um, thanks for all the recent donations. I was going to put that out there real quick. Thanks for all the recent donations. And if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, I don't do the WhatsApp shit. Um, there's a scammer going around pretending they're me. They take my profile picture um, off my YouTube handle. And then they pretend it's me. That's not me. Please do not give any money to them. Please report them. Um, or ignore them or whatever, but um, don't, I don't want you to be scammed because it's not me, okay? It is somebody pretending to be me. I just want to let you know I have reported all the ones on there that I've seen so far, okay? And you're welcome to report them too, okay? But it's not me, okay? But I do appreciate all the PayPal donations recently. I just want to say that. I do. I love you guys. Okay, so I received a channeling in. Uh, it's about a workplace affair, so if you don't want to hear about it, you can click off, okay? Just saying, just saying. Um, but, um, so yeah. Actually, I've received a lot of downloads tonight. Um, I promote, I promote a lot of readers on here tonight. Um, and then I started receiving downloads, so we'll do it. It's 8 p.m., 12-21-2022. I ain't got nothing better to do because my kids aren't here because they took them away and the McClendon standard wasn't even met. Just saying, just saying. Hashtag, bring me back my kids. But, um, yeah, so I'll, we'll offload the downloads. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do here. Okay. All right, so the channel message I received was, um, I heard a um, workplace affair is about to be exposed very publicly, uh, very soon. Um there are several of them. I heard one in a jail, one in a hospital, and one in a skilled nursing facility. So there's at least three about to be exposed very, very, very publicly um, very soon, uh, whether it's in a jail, a hospital, or a, a skilled nursing facility, okay? In at least one of these situations, there's a no fraternization policy where people cannot date in the company. It's going to cause these people to be fired. Oh my God. I heard in at least one of these situations, there's a no fraternization policy where they cannot date in the company um, or anyone in the facility that they work at. They can't date anyone in the company or anyone in the facility they work at. Holy crap. So I think it might be a contracted um the jail situation might be a contracted situation, possibly. Or it could be the skilled nursing or the hospital, but in at least one of them, um, there's a no fraternization policy in the company that they work in, whether it's a hospital corporate conglomerate. Um, I didn't hear it was corporate conglomerate. I just kind of feel it is. Whether it's in the hospital, skilled nursing, or um, the jail. Now, I will tell you, I have been a nurse that has worked in a jail before, corrections, nursing. And our company, healthcare company, was contracted in the jail, into the jail. So even though our, our healthcare company was contracted in the jail, the people, the jailers and the police officers obviously were not part of the healthcare company. Um, but there was a no fraternization policy I had, to, I had to sign when I worked contracted through that uh, healthcare company in the jail, which is only about 10 minutes from here. And I'm only telling you this from personal experience. I know it exists. I know it exists. Um, that's been the only no fraternization policy I've ever had to sign in a company, but I know it exists because I've had to do it. But, and that was when I worked contracted uh, through the healthcare company at the jail. But the policy stated that you could not date anybody in the company or anybody in that jail or in that facility. And I'm just being for real. 
So I think who, whichever one situation that is, I think it might be the jail situation, possibly. Um, it might be the hospital or skilled nursing if there's a no fraternization policy, no dating in the workplace as well. But I'm not sure. Um, I'm not these people. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But there's at least three and one of them is definitely a no fraternization policy. I heard the people are about to get fired. Um, the affair is about to go uh, very public. Very, 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 very public. No hiding it anymore. Very, 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 very public. No hiding it anymore. So it's about to go very, 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 very public. No hiding it anymore. And at least one of them, there's some kind of no fraternization where they can't date in the company or I guess people around them. I'm thinking it might be the jail situation because I explained how it worked when I worked at um, contracted through the healthcare company at the jail, local jail here about 10 minutes from me. Uh, but you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. A water sign is getting a huge wake-up call. A water sign masculine. A water sign masculine. Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine is getting a huge wake-up call. So you could be Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine getting a huge wake-up call, sir. Maybe you're one of the ones in a um, in a no fraternization relationship in your workplace. Or it might, or not, because energies can be reversed. You're either in one of these no fraternization um, affairs in your workplace. So basically, that is basically an affair with a coworker. Just saying, just saying. That's what that is, okay, in a nutshell. So you're either in an affair with a coworker in a no fraternization policy, or you're having a wake-up call about somebody in an affair in a no fraternization workplace. Maybe you're going to terminate them. Maybe you're going to be the one to terminate them. Or you help expose it. Or you're in the affair. How if that resonates and applies? Okay? But there's at least three in the universe. and one situation, these people are about to get fired because they're in a no fraternization policy. And I'm just being for real. Damn! Okay. Let's pull some keeper. These workplace affairs are about to be exposed so publicly and so quickly. It's about to cause chaos in this situation. People are about to take some huge action and they will be terminated. It has been hidden for a long time. No hiding it anymore. Okay, so these workplace affairs have been um, hidden for a long time. But I heard no hiding it anymore because apparently they're about to cause some huge chaos in these workplace situations. Um, and it's about to cause them to get fired, uh, terminated. Uh, but in all fairness, the one where they're in the no fraternization policy, they should be. And that's just the truth. They should be. And I will tell you from personal experience, when um, I worked at the jail, of course, I didn't date anybody in the jail or anybody, any jailers, any police, any of that, uh, because I knew what I signed. But there were a lot of nurses and we were all female. Well, we weren't all female nurses there. There were uh, a couple males, but not many. But um, mostly females, though. A lot of the female nurses dated either police officers or they dated um, people that worked in jail. And I'm just being for real. And that's just the truth. Were they supposed to? Nope. Because I know they signed the same thing I did. And that's just the truth. But I heard it's about to cause huge chaos. Um, and I guess the ones that signed the no fraternization policy, they're about to they're about to get uh, terminated. Toll and labor, um, about to get fired. Number 38 can be a very significant number in one's life. This is workplace affair. Toll and labor, workplace, employment, workplace affair. Some of these people are legally married, some they're not. And in one situation, it's going to cause a divorce because of the firing. Okay, I heard some of these people are married and some they're not. So in some of these situations, they're married and having a workplace affair with a co-worker. So a tr like, it ain't even a work wife, work husband. It's like a um, <laughs> keeping you hidden at work only and I'm really fucking you. <laughs> and I just don't want to say that. <laughs> Damn. Um, and some they're not. So some they're not married legally married but some they are and i heard for some that the, some of the ones that are legally married that it's going to cause divorces so in this aspect toll labor is employment employment 
affair in your employment. Damn. So spicy. Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine. Um, I think you might be a mature masculine. Um, if you, well, if you're the one in the um, affair, you're obviously not mature. And that's just damn truth. Because you know what the fuck you were doing hiding this affair in your workplace. So the Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine getting a huge wake up call. I think you might be a mature masculine outside the situation is what I'm feeling. Number five could be a very significant number of one's life. Number five. I feel for some of you uh, water sign masculines, I think you're the ones about to terminate the ones in the no fraternization policy where they can't date in the workplace. And I'm just being for real for real. A Gemini feminine that works in human resources through many series of chain events, she's about to get terminated too for hiding hiding a very serious affair in her workplace okay a gemini femme that works in human resources so hr she got gemini any aspect aspects of her charts sun moon rising venus or no men having her jupiter charts heard she's about to get terminated through many series of chain events too for hiding one a very important workplace affair that she knows about in her workplace holy shit this is serious and a very serious investigation of the past that she lied in and theft oh my god whoa well okay well it sounds like she deserves to be fired um damn so okay so we have people about to get fired because they violated a no fraternization policy and we have a gemini fem in human resources um, she have Gemini in any aspects, aspects of her charts, but I heard she was intentionally hiding one of these workplace affairs. I think one of the ones in the no fraternization policy or one of the other ones. Uh, but it's not, that's not the only reason she's about to get terminated, though. I heard that and theft. So she's been stealing from person, people, place, or situation. Maybe even the co probably the company. Um, you plug it in how it resonates with some kind of theft. I think it might be company theft. Um, hiding the affair. And an investigation of the past that I heard she intentionally lied in, lied in. So premeditated perjury of an investigation of the past. So, hell, she's done plenty to get fired. And that's just the truth. Holy shit. She got Gemini in any aspects of her charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Heaven, Jupiter charts. False person. She's a false person. She's about to ever regret lying in this investigation of the past. I heard, she, I heard she's about to ever regret lying in this investigation of the past. It's Gemini Femme. But, um, well, ma'am, if you watch my channel, I don't know if you do or you don't. She watches your channel. Oh, my God. I heard she watches my channel. Okay, you watch my channel, Gemini Femme. Well, I don't feel sorry for you, Gemini Femme. And I'll tell you what. You're stealing from something. You're one, you're a thief. You're a thief. I don't feel sorry for you. Point, period, point, blank, you're a thief. And that's that's just true, for real, And the other things you did were shitty, too. So, do I feel sorry for you? No. I, you're a shitty person. I mean, and I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being for real, for real. Okay? You deserve it, ma'am. You deserve it. And I think the Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine mature man energy is about to act your ass when he finds out you've been hiding this affair. And some kind of theft. I think it might be company theft. It is company theft. Oh my God, it's company theft. Okay, company theft. It's company theft. It's confirmation. It's company theft. Yeah, I don't feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for you, Jim and I, Pim. Just saying, just saying. You work in HR, human resources. You deserve it. All right. This is about to start happening quickly. This is about to start happening quickly. And then I pulled Distant Horizons Upright. Number 36 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 36. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 36. Okay, so Distant Horizons is futuristic energy. So meaning it hasn't happened yet energy. So all this has not happened yet, but it's about to. And it's about to happen quickly with like the eight of wands with the 555 five, five change energy. Um, so futuristic prophetic energy, it has not happened yet, but it's about to, 
We have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine, mature masculine energy in here. The Gemini Femme. HR about to get fired for all the crazy shit she's been doing in her uh, thievy career, crim uh, her thievy criminal HR career, and then all these people and um, that work e either a jail, a skilled nursing facility, or a hospital affair is about to get exposed very publicly. And at least one situation, they're going to get fired. Maybe two or two plus. But I think the Cancer Pisces Scorpio masculine has a lot to, uh, I think he's about to axe their ass. And I'm just being for real. Whoever he is. Okay. For one situation, the water sign masculine is corporate. For one situation, the water sign masculine, the mature man energy is corporate. So I feel for one of you guys, water sign masculine, corporate energy, I think you watch my channel. I do. He watches your channel. Oh my God, I heard you watch my channel. You watch my channel. Okay. So you're water sign masculine, you work in corporate, and you watch my channel. Number one could be very significant number of one's life. Number one could be a possible age of a child or any other significant number, number one. You watch my channel, water sign masculine. Um, I don't blame you. I just want to say water sign masculine. I don't blame you for axing her. She's a, she's nasty. And I'm just, be, I mean, the HR chicky. She's chicky dude. She's nasty. She's stealing from the damn company. So hopefully you can find some evidence um, of her stealing from the company and all the other shit, uh, covering up the affairs uh, or affairs and um, lying, intentionally perjuring about an investigation of the past. Hopefully, I mean, if you don't get all of it, maybe at least you get the theft of the company to ax or ass. That's enough right there. Just saying, just saying. All right, I'm closing this one out. I have a, not, a lot more downloads to upload. Love you guys, I'm going to say.